Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced the indictments of 12 Russian intelligence officials in charges stemming from the hacking of Democrats during the 2016 election. The defendants worked for two units of the main intelligence directorate of the Russian general staff, known as the GRU. The units engaged in active cyber operations to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. These charges come on top of the previous charges against 14 Russians uh, from earlier this year and build out the case against uh, Russia, which Russia still denies that it actually interfered in the 2016 election. So we have on one side the charges against people in the Trump campaign, lying to investigators, the charges against Paul Manafort, which are financial crimes in nature. And then we have on the other side the charges against Russians who are actually being indicted for being involved in interference in the 2016 election. And so far we have more than two dozen of those, even as it's unlikely those people would actually face trial in the United States. Ever since the Democratic National Committee hack was reported in the summer of 2016, President Trump has cast doubt on the idea, one, uh, that it was the Russians who were behind it, even though the signs were all there from the beginning. If it is Russia, nobody even knows it's probably China. Or it could be somebody sitting in his bed. And two, that anybody actually did hack the DNC. Uh, there have been conspiracy theories out there that this was an inside job, that somebody inside the DNC did it. It's just a total deflection, this whole thing with Russia. And since then, we've seen a, a number of comments from the president casting doubt on the commu intelligence community's conclusions about the fact that this was Russians. What we hear about is this phony Russia witch hunt. So the fact that we now have an actual set of indictments against Russia with details about how this happened, that makes it much more difficult for the president to make these claims. Uh, and it suggests that perhaps his ideas about this conspiracy theory uh, weren't based on much of anything from, from the start. Maybe the most surprising aspect of Rod Rosenstein's press conference was when he took a moment to respond to some critics of the investigation. The people who speculate about federal investigations usually do not know all of the relevant facts. We do not try cases on television or in congressional hearings. We follow the rule of law. It's clear that he wants to fight back against the narrative that this is a witch hunt, that the Justice Department is biased. Of course, the timing is really interesting. The president is overseas. He will be going to meet with none other than Vladimir Putin. He has talked about making nice with Vladimir Putin, how he wants to be friends with him. Frankly, Putin may be the easiest of them all. Who would think? But as we get these indictments coming out, as we see more and more details of Russian hacking in the 2016 election come out, uh, it's going to be more and more difficult to dismiss it as a nothing burger and more and more difficult for him to say, I can't do anything except for ask the question. People are going to start demanding concrete actions. Uh, and we've already seen that with some sanctions against Russia. Uh, as we see more of these charges come out, we could see more calls for sanctions and other punitive measures.